there. Been a bit of a while, been a bit busy, been doing some stuff. Today is June 30th, it is the end of June, and it's again a bit blustery out there looking at the poor flags, they're getting beaten up nicely. So, this is actually a video from a month ago, and what I mean by that is that I actually shot the rest of the stuff you're about to watch a month ago. Memorial Day, to be honest with you. Um, and this particular video is about our friends, the cats. Our cats are indoor living. They get to go out occasionally. We like to take them out and give them a taste of the outside. So, last year I bought a dog kennel. Don't tell the cats. They don't know. I mean, there'll be a riot otherwise. Um, and put up some, put it up with a little bit of roofing above it. And it was okay. It was a good proof of concept or version one. So, took it down over the winter, stored it, had the um, patio sealed, and started thinking about what I wanted to do next. Well, today's video is about what I did next. In the links below, you'll find a link to the, the dog kennel itself, which unfortunately I don't believe is sold anymore, although you should be able to find something fairly similar to it. And all of the wood bar the little 2x2 two two pieces and those are standard pressure treated outside agreeable 2x2's two two. and you'll see why I mention those when you see the rest of the video so this year what I ended up doing was buying a bunch of uh, this is all pressure treated so 3x3's three or 4x4's four um, and some 3 quarter inch plywood plyboard almost the kind of stuff that you would find in a house when they're building houses um, and then, with no plans, this is all just me saying, well, this is going to sit roughly here, so if I put this here, where does that go, and how does that look? Um, I built the, the soon-to-be-seen catio. So, the videos that you're going to see are spread over uh, two and a half days, I believe, which reminds me I have to get the other stuff off then. Um, and the first day is me building the new cat tree, which is a link in the below, and then the second day is me getting our uh, stuff out for the patio and then getting the, the actual uh, um, catio itself built, including putting in the, the door in the window. Um, post the, the build, as I say, it's been about a month now, I've had to make a minor repair to one of the supports pieces for the fourth panel. Now... The reason being is I decided to cheap out as these things were 45 plus bucks panel and use two off cuts brought down to size for the fourth panel. That may have been an oversight and if I was going to do it again I would actually buy a full um, panel and then cut it down to size mostly because then you have a complete solid roof and you don't have these issues of, um, of, of it sagging and all the rest of it. However, it's still there, it's still there this morning. I have one more piece to do, which means that tomorrow or this afternoon, depending if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling up to it or not, um, I need to go out and put some water sealer on the wood itself. Now, I don't need to, it's pressure treated wood, but I'm going to, just to give it that little bit more. And one of the other reasons why I'm considering doing that is that this particular catio is very heavy, so far the winds that have come off the back of the house haven't done anything to it, although they may have contributed to the screws that came out. Um, and I'm going to leave it out over winter, because really all that means is that um, I take the, the, the door out of the window and everything else stays where it is. There's the slope on the roof, means the snow will run off. Um, it's strong enough, heavy enough, it's all outside okay wood. The two cat towers are, the, um, the cat box is, is treated, so it should all be fine. I shouldn't need to move it again, and let me tell you, the stuff is heavy, the panels are heavy, even though they've been cut down, That's, I just don't want to move that thing again. So, without much further ado, please enjoy me going from nothing to a complete functional catio. And then what I will also do, the last three things, will be a panoramic three-piece of what it looked like. And I may even be able to find a picture somewhere with some of the cats in it, showing that they did actually use it. Anyway, enough of the waffle. Looking down at the phone, on with the show. Good morning. 
on this sunny May 27th, 2018, the day before Memorial Day. We're outside, funnily enough, and as you can see, <coughs> some stuff, some boxes, some more boxes, a nice new freshly painted caddick tower, some bits of wood, some bigger bits of wood, and as we pan around, um, some freshly mowed grass that I am going to be uh, using the bagger for next week because next door actually wants the clippings so he can have the clippings so he can build his Ooh. that right there the three concrete blocks and my outdoor, outdoor cat pen and in there not that you can see it well, you can possibly see little bits of it are whole bunches of metal so Dave I hear you ask as I pan back just to and go around again um, what are you doing and what are you on about well what you can see here are the beginnings of the Cataco it's a nice day today we're off tomorrow Memorial Day please remember why and today and tomorrow I am going to build a Cataco but first panning backwards I actually have to build this. This is a new cat tower that will go with the one that's already there underneath the window and will allow us to uh, have two ways out and maybe even Alba can get out and that will be good. So anyway, enough waffling, time to debox, time to see what I've got. Alright, so just a quick time up later because this was the easy part. Thankfully, it's a good job our uh, bin men are going to be coming Tuesday when I'm at home because as you can see, I have, or I'm going to have, a whole bunch of cardboard and plastic for them. So yes, this is going to be fun. I'm hoping the instructions are written well because, quite frankly, it's kind of worrying. But anyway, we shall see. Right, well, we already have our first couple of problems. So I managed to get one of the boxes out, so those are the bigger pieces. This piece here, where I'm putting my foot, the two straights are nailed in, and they were bent, which is unfortunate, and I'm going to hope that they are a little better secured. And what we're seeing here are the loose, the instructions, which I haven't looked at yet, so that could be the next fun problem, and the loose screws. Uh, the reason that they're loose, and here's the next thing, I'm kind of hoping I don't need two of those, because if I do, I only have one. Uh, the reason that they're loose is that the bag they were in weren't up to, wasn't up to the job, and they were floating around on the bottom of the, um, bottom of the box, which might be why I only have one of those. So, when I go through the instructions, I'll find out. Anyway, another interesting shot of part of the white one. So, that right there, that right there. And I just had to go to Home Depot, and because I was, actually I never made it to the Scouts, because I was a Boy Scout at one point, or a Cub Scout, I decided to find and take my spare one, just in case, and add one to that too. So I now have two, just in case. I have a whole bunch of these screws, and I have other two-inch screws. So, now we can progress, finally. So, morning has turned into afternoon, and lunchtime, and I've done two runs to uh, the Home Depot. I bought myself a couple of nuts, as I probably explained already, and I'm just about to slot the brace into there, but the primary thing I've had to do is to shorten this. This was the same length as the other piece and it was a son of a something to get out I had to uh, cut it down and then cut the insides down I've had to glue and I'm gonna have to use two screws and it's all a palaver but in the end it's been done I'll probably put two inch wood screws through it and then it'll never go anywhere and they'll be all hum hunky-dory and everybody will be happy so 
done a little work off a of camera because quite frankly you didn't need to hear me hitting my fingers and swearing and now I'm going to get back to it and put the braces on and see if I can stand the thing up. Yes, 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 I know I need to clear up my junk. Reason being is we are almost complete. I have to screw that in. They have to screw that in and yes they are different heights and then I'm not sure I'm going to bother putting the other little tabs up. I might put one at the bottom there and likewise over there, the dinky ones. But I don't think I'm going to put the big ones on, just that one and that one. And that way it leaves the up and down a lot, uh, a lot cleaner and easier for our little furry friends. And let me tell you, son of a something, it's the wrong way round. That says left, here, yeah, let me show you. That says left there, L3, and that says right. And yet, if I look at the diagram, remembering that they lettered it, and not me, I just followed along. To the right, it should go up. To the right, it goes down. Which has caused me no end of angst and woe, and other such swear words. Holy crap. Now, I am not the best woodworker in the world. I do pre-made projects, I don't make them from scratch. But I'm feeling quite proud of myself at the moment, considering I actually got this thing cut down to size, mostly to work, and I suspect Alba will be able to use it once I put that other thing up. The only other thing here, of course, is that I am going to have to cut the supports down. Um, probably, where they meet is going to have to get cut down which is a little unfortunate but it won't fit otherwise I don't think that's my next job is to try and see if it'll fit well here it is done mostly I gotta take eight and a half inches off the feet at the bottom and just hope that that's good enough and then I should be able to put it against the side of the house but we're getting there all I have to do now of course You see if I'm strong enough to move that thing. Well, good morning. Here we are, Memorial Day, Bank Holiday Monday for those in the UK. And there was a little work done last night after the camera shut down, as you're about to see. So, the breeze blocks have appeared. And as you can see down there, we There be no... Uh, There'd be no nothing. Dave, what do you say? Well, now that I've given you vertigo for that, here we are. And actually, it's on the wheelbarrow, and I have to get that thing off of there. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. Well, I do. I have a certain idea on how I'm going to do it. So here they are, together. Although I do have to move, because as you will see, I have put the uh, catico door in. I gotta move this stuff, which is fun. I have legs for that. And then if we come over here last night, in order to give the patio a bit of time to dry and some of this wood time to dry, I move them. So today's tasks are get that off of there and position it, position those, and then go down there and empty that lot out so that I can put the stuff out for summer and actually start building construction on this stuff so that the cats can then stop whining at the door because that's what they were doing as soon as I put the door in oh goody we can go out no it's not open daddies well today it will be hopefully or very at the latest tomorrow off all right <coughs> signs of life over on the school field not that you can see that from there but over on the school field people have arrived and they're doing stuff I don't really know what stuff they're doing I don't know that there's a parade or anything and now as I pan out and move around God, it's good our neighbours are not there so we now have the two boxes lined up two trees even I've moved the, cat, uh, the outdoor cat thing there and 
we have two pieces and the reason I have these two up is because I can now begin the cutting what's going to happen is that those are actually going to live on these these here will be well four of them I think if I remember my maths correctly are going to go underneath the stands so the, the stand is going to sit on the wood and so sink in a little bit stop the uh, kittens and cats from leaving and then two will go on the roof to have a bit of a slope and give a bit more height well everything's out of there I do have to get those up because I want the washers and whatever off of them reuse the washers and maybe some screws although I excuse me do have new screws so that's really not a problem so here oh look there have been some cuttings two pieces left although I'm about to cut one of those because oh nice toy just be careful of it because the super structure such that it is is done we have the white thing though I'm beginning to think that maybe this needs to go over a foot or so yes I know they get out from under there I have to cut a piece which is why you'll see anyway there's the piece that I cut that went with the other one we have all of those bits and now I have to I think I have to shuffle it to the left just a little bit and then hmm, I might get away with this and then the fun and the games about uh, what can and can't be done roof wise begins so a little more work off camera you know that old adage measure once bang in twice and yes I'm breathing heavily that there is halfway and I had to move all of this around including this end just so that I could get it all in well here we are I appear to have an interloper which thinks he's gonna make its nest up there somewhere I may have to uh, discourage this however I'll leave the bee it seems to like what it's doing <coughs> So, that was me jumping down from the house. Post lunchtime, we have the center brace made that isn't split. We have the main four by fours, or three and a halfs as three and a halfs as they actually are, attached. I've just got the new two by whatever pieces out. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to keep them bowed and just screw them straight. Yeah, that's probably easier. And that way, and once I do that, this side of the roof is going on first because it's actually fairly simple and I can uh, not worry about it too much. And assuming that the bee has decided it's done what it's doing over there, I should then, in theory, be able to cut one of the uh, four by eights down to two by eight and stick it straight on. That's the theory anyway. One down, three to go. I'm actually th two and some pieces. The uh, edge wasn't quite as straight as I wanted it, but let me tell you, you're not gonna know. And yes, I know there are tools up there because I actually just walked on it. It's a little wobbly, I will admit. I wouldn't want to do it for too long, but the two screws I just put in are in and they ain't going nowhere, so now for the next piece and now for one more piece of cut let's hope i don't kill myself this time either so without picking up the next door neighbors oh no there they are we are half a roof in and 
as I thought was going to happen, there is a bit of a gap. So I'm going to have to add there. However, this stuff is strong enough for me to walk on, so that's good. It's tidying up time. However, the good news is, I have three quarters of the roof done. So tomorrow night, I should have started from the other end really, shouldn't I? That was not very clever. So tomorrow night, I have to fill this gap, which will be quite simple. Put some big pieces until I can't wedge it anymore, and then put a little piece, and then that'll be that. And then some of this off cuts are going to go there with some, some of this stuff. There's a brace underneath, so put the first piece on there and then brace it down as far as this and then probably put a piece on with a fat end that matches this end and that just leaves the middle piece to do and then I should be golden. Right, here we are, day three of a two day build. Or at least what I had hoped was gonna be a two day build. I have just taken in the table saw, which made its last reasonably good cut, actually. I didn't do too badly this time. Again, there, a bit of practice, I might even be half passable. The reason being, says he, stop clapping himself on the back, because nobody else is going to, is because we have a fourth piece. I decided two of the pieces I had with a little cut was actually going to work. This piece here, says he trying to get his finger in shot, actually wedged in perfectly and is kind of supporting the pieces. I unfortunately didn't quite line it up, which is why you can see sunlight through there. Uh, the joys of working on your own which was another reason why I put this here. Because in theory, then that that comes through the hole should then filter away. I even cut it, maybe not brilliantly, but you know what, that bite me, uh, not literally. So now, all I have to do is convince this thing to line up. And I wouldn't worry about those too much, not that you can probably see them. Those are pin pieces I was trying to uh, get this to line up with. Once I've actually got the wood pieces married, I'm going to go in with a hammer and bang those about because then they shouldn't really go anywhere and this wood keeps in the way. So ultimately, apart from four screws, although really I should make it five as I made it five at the other end and the gap, I'm done. And if I can get the gap done, and maybe even if I just get that gap done, we can let the little monsters out tonight. Wow, it was almost like I planned it which I certainly didn't. So it's not long past 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight, and apart from a little bit of sawdust, we are done. Holy cow. So there's one edge piece, adds a certain amount of rigidity to those boards as well, and stops little escape artists, one hopes. Although I do need to get some three inch screws to finish that off, but that's fine. There, so it's done usable, done complete will be uh, on the top on the top side I have some Thompson water seal I might even paint the tower with it um, some Thompson water seal as you can see there that is going to go under the gap to try and stop the little darlings from trying to escape although I tried to push it as close to the house as possible and then come this side is the other attempt to stop the escape artists not quite as tidy yet, and I am a little concerned about that gap there, but it's, what, three fingers tall? Yeah, maybe they'll get out. If not, I have blocks of this spare, so I'd cut one that size, take that out, take those out, put that side in and bang it in just to make sure that uh, it was properly persuaded, and then take these pieces about here, and as you know, I'd put these pieces in first, obviously, because that would be clever, and I claim to be clever. Um, but anyway, it 
is, and in fact, we will do the official uh, opposite ceremony. Most people bang on it and open it up and say it's open for business. We, I, me, are gonna do, there's my hand, I'm a little pink, because I'm a little burnt. We are now officially closed for business. I will uh, talk to the good lady wife, open that door, and let heaven and hell help us, because we'll probably need both. That was the end of another exciting video and I'm glad to see you've got this far. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down and leave a comment. Tell me why you didn't like it. Maybe I can do it better. As always, I've been Dave, you've been fabulous. And up here should be the Ask Uncle Dave text. If you have a question, leave it in the comments. Hashtag Ask Uncle Dave. I'll get to it. We'll answer it in one of the future videos. Not sure what's going to be next. So you need to come on back and see what's doing. Thank you and goodbye.